Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom workout using the Garmin Connect website. Now, this is something you can also do on the Garmin Connect app on your smartphone, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you on the website. To me, it's a little bit easier on the website. Maybe I'll do a video in the future to show you how to do it in the app. So first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to go to connect.garmin.com and we're going to log into our account. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can get to this based on how you've got your uh, Garmin Connect account set up. The easiest way is on the left-hand side, there's a section for training. If you click on training, there's a subsection called workouts. We're going to click on workouts. Now, you'll notice when I go into my workouts, I don't have any workouts that are out there. I can create one or you can find a workout. Garmin has some predefined workouts that are already out there. You can go through and look at any one of these. And if you want to, you can choose it and send it to your device without having to build a workout on your own. You can also use the filters up at the top to go through and just look for certain workouts for the given sport or uh, activity that you're looking to do. But in this video, we're going to be creating one. So we're going to go under my workouts and we are going to use the drop down menu to choose what type of workout it is that we're looking to create. Run, bike, pool, swim, etc. I'm just going to go to the bottom and I'm going to choose custom. Once we choose a value, we have the option to create a workout. We're just going to click on create a workout. Now, by default, they go ahead and they build you a workout with three different sections. You've got a warm up section, you've got a go section, you've got a cool down section. You can use these little dots on the side to rearrange these any way you want to, just clicking and dragging. You can also delete any of these steps. If you don't want a warm up period, that's fine. If you don't want a go period, that's fine. You can also add a step. So if I wanted to add an additional you know, cool down or some other step in the activity, we can do that over here. We can also add a repeat. We can add a note about the given activity that we're building. You'll notice up at the top, the default name is custom workout. You can click on the pencil mark to edit that. I'm just going to put daily walk. Name it whatever you'd like to. Click the check mark to save the name change. Now, on each of these steps, we can go into the step and we can edit it. If you look, you'll notice that the warm up by default is defined by a lap button press. I'm going to click edit step. And instead of that, I can one, change the type of the details. Is this a warm up? Is this a recovery rest? So on and so forth. Warm up is fine, but instead of lap button press, I'm going to change it and say, look, once I've been going for, I'm going to choose time for 10 minutes. That's the end of that step. I can also choose an intensity target. So I could say, look, once my pace gets to a certain level or my speed gets to a certain level or my heart rate zone gets to a certain level, then I'm done with that step of the workout. That's an optional value. So in this case, I can also add some notes of what it is I'm doing during this step. I'm gonna click save. So we've successfully edited our warm up. Now, the warm up period is just a 10 minute duration. After that, we go into our go section. Again, I can click edit steps for the go section. I can choose time, distance, lap button, calories, heart rate, any one of these you can choose. So if I wanted to say, look, once I've burned, you know, maybe you're doing a workout because you're trying to lose some weight. You say, look, every day I'm going to try and burn, you know, whatever, 500 calories. You say, look, once I've burned 500 calories, I'm done with that step. In my case, I'm going to say, look, once I've gone one mile, I'm done with this step. Again, I can add an intensity target if I want to. I can add notes. Once I'm done, I'm going to click done. You're going to do that for each individual step that you've got in your workout. You know, add as many steps as you need to, delete as many steps as you need to, add repeats. Once you've got it set the way you want to, all you're going to do is you're going to click Save Workout, and you've successfully created a custom workout. At this point, all you need to do is you can add it to a calendar. If you want to do this workout on certain dates, you want it on your calendar, you can do that. You can duplicate the workout. If you want to take that same workout and just create a second one with some variations, and not have to redo all the steps. That's what duplicate would do. And then you can also delete the workout. You'll notice up here, I've got an option to send to device. All you're gonna do is you're gonna click send to device and you're gonna choose the given device that you wanna send it to. You'll notice in my case, I only have one device to send it to. Some of you may have multiple Garmin devices. You only wanna send it to one. You would see your devices in this list. Now, if you've got a Bluetooth enabled device, all you have to do is click send to, is click send to device the next time you sync your uh, smartwatch to the device, you should see your workout in there. If you don't have a Bluetooth enabled device, you would need to launch Garmin Express in order to get that workout. 
pretty simple. Now when you go back to your workout, whereas before I didn't see anything, I can see the custom workout that I created. I can click on the pencil uh, icon to edit it. I can add it to the calendar, do some of the other things that we saw from before. And then again, I can save a copy or I can delete it. Pretty simple, there's nothing to it. It's kind of fun, especially if you're looking to do some kind of training, you want to build some workouts, go in there and play with it. As always, I hope the video helps. If you got any questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.